Okay guys, we're back with another episode of our slab stacking game. Uh, I think this might be episode 5, I think. I don't actually know. We've been working on this game forever. So it's time to fix, uh, it's time to fix it and get it done so we can start working on our other games like Tetris and try and finish that. So today it should be a fairly short episode. Uh, we're going to jump into the game and try and fix some of the bugs that we ran into in yesterday's episode i believe and then who knows we might even finish the game today i highly doubt it but we'll see how quick and easy we get things done today so let's jump into our game so everything is still working the same as our last one but we need to go and correct some of our bugs so in our previous episode uh, we had this bug in our game manager i think yeah here it is where this line uh, was presenting an error and that is because we just used the wrong one it, instead of uh, objects by it needs to be objects of so it's going to look for the objects that i have that are of type uh, slab spawner and then it's going to assign them to our slab spawners array which should only be two so we should only get two of them so that should be fine we'll save that uh, what else? What else is on the list? Um, okay, and then and then another thing I figured out. Well, I didn't figure out. I went through the code trying to figure out the error or a different bug, and I realized that we forgot to change one of our uh, Z values. So, in our split cube on the X axis, this Z value here needs to be an X and not a z because obviously it's going to be a z for our split cube on our z axis so we'll go ahead and change that and then let's just go to the game quick and then let's just run it and see what exactly happens so i don't expect anything to uh, run how it should do because yeah so here we still get a few, we still have a little bit of a problem there because it's not really telling which, uh, di well, the direction of this spawner is not moving in the right direction. So we need to fix that. So let's have a look in our code. Actually, let's go look here. Um, create a hangover, we need to do that. We changed, I did that, I did that. Okay, so we need, let's go and do this. We need to go and check for the move direction and the stop method. So hopefully that there will go and correct the move direction. So in our stop method here, we need to go and change this. So here we will go and say, actually, I don't think this is going to, no, I don't think that's gonna solve it for now. So we'll leave that for now, but let's go, we need to change this our hangover. So here we need to go and say uh, float hangover is equal to get hangover value. So we're going to make this a function, so it's going to return uh, our hangover value. So here we'll just say private, if we can spell it correctly, correctly private float because it's going to return a float and I think yeah we need to name it um let's just put that there so I actually that's not what I copied I'm going to undo that so that we can copy that because I forgot what was there so bear with me that I am going to copy and then this we will put back and say get hang over value like that and then we'll go back here and put private float get hang over value and then we'll paste that in in there so this just needs to be return uh, actually no that that's correct that's incorrect so we need to do that check for our our move direction so in here let's go and say if uh, what is it if move direction with a small m i believe move direction is equal to move direction dot z then we can go and do that else we are going to want it to be the x i think that needs to be double a equals yeah so otherwise we'll copy this and paste that in there and let's see can we return that 
and let's go and say return that okay so that just checks if our move direction is z then it um, gets a hangover value on our z axis and our move, if our move uh, if our move direction is not z then it should be uh, on the x axis so let's go and change that so we'll save that and then let's just go back up here and then we'll just add this check to see if our um, actually wait you'll see why we're going to do that let's go back into the game and play the game and see what happens so if we play the game now we should okay so clearly we have a little bit of a problem with we still have a problem with the spawner here because oh maybe i know i think i might know why it is okay so something else we have to do is on our spawners in our slab spawner script let's go and open that up that should already be open up here but we need to go and make this a public variable because we need to go and assign which direction it is on each spawner so for our z spawner you should now see it should have a drop down list where we can select the move direction so obviously our z direction will be i mean our z spawner will be on the z direction uh, and then our x spawner will be in the x axis so we'll save that and now that should fix our move direction issue so let's go and okay there we go so that fixes that but we still have this little bit of a bug so we're getting there slowly so you can see that it's working there is still a few bugs like they shouldn't be too um too coming from that side uh but we will get there eventually so let's try and see and also the position of this one is not correct i don't think it doesn't look correct yeah they should, that's, that hangover there shouldn't be there it should be directly on top of this previous lab so we need to deal with that as well so let's go back here and check okay so let's go and try and fix that issue with the um the scale of it i think it's the scale let's let's give it a try and see so i think in our stop method here we need to go and change the um what's it called the think of why am i going blank now but this over here instead of it just being on the z axis because now we have two spawners one on the x axis and one on the z axis we need to go in and deal with that so depending on our move direction we need to say this needs to be either the local scale on the z axis or the local scale on the x axis so let's go and say float i believe it is uh, here we will get our max max scale if I can spell, why can't I spell today? Max scale is going to be equal to our move direction. Um, or rather, we will say, let's do this. If our move direction is equal to our Z, so if the slab is moving on the Z axis, then we will go and assign max scale to be, um, I think it's local scale. It's going to be, a, what do we name it? Our last last cube. So we need to go and get the scale of our last cube. So last cube dot local uh, transform maybe, transform dot local scale dot Z. And then if it's not that, then it needs to be last cube dot transform dot local scale dot X okay so that what this does is basically it says if the move direction is equal to z so if our slab is moving along our z axis go and assign the local scale or go and assign our max scale to our last cube's local scale of our z axis and if it's not moving on the z axis go and do the same but on the y um, and then all we need to do is we need to go and copy this and replace this with that so we'll paste that there and then I think let's go and test this out and see if that solves uh, our position so we'll save that now okay we also need to fix that bug because that's annoying so it's 
I think it's fixed the size of it, um, but what it hasn't fixed is the position of it. So you can see that there is still a hangover um, in the wrong place. But yeah, you can see the game is kind of getting there slowly. Actually, that's not correct. We need to go and fix that because we should, this this one over here should be the size of the actual square that the previous one was. So that's something else we need to fix. But how long? Okay, so we're ten minutes in. So let's go and see where. Um, where we can go and correct this. So give me a second so I can see. Okay, and then for our position, we need to go into our slab spawner here and change this up because this obviously is only dealing with our Z axis. So we need to go and change this and say, uh, what are we gonna say? Here we are going to say float. If it's on the X axis, we will say float X. Go and assign X to be move direction, or if our move direction is equal to move direction dot X. So if it's on the X axis, then our transform dot dot position dot X, <coughs> and then. Hold on, let's see. How did we do it over here? So if the if the move direction is equal to okay, yeah. So if our move direction is equal to x, go and assign um, x to be equal to transform dot position dot x, and then if it's not, then I think it's moving. What well, move? Where is it? move direction dot last dot last no dot why can't why doesn't it pick it up this needs to be a oh, moving cube moving moving cube what I can't type today moving cube prefab dot last cube no For some reason, this is not working. That's very weird. This needs to be, I think it's moving cube dot last. There we go. That I should have done that the first time. Okay, so moving cube dot last cube dot transform um, dot position dot x. Okay, and then we pretty much want to do the same thing, but for our Z as well. So this needs to be Z, and then this also needs to be Z. Oh, what do I do? This needs to be Z as well as this one. Save that, and then we need to change this. This needs to be X as well as this needs to be um, Z. Okay, so we'll save that, and let's go and see what kind of errors we get in this, or oh, after fixing that. So let's go play this and see. Okay, so we've got our, so our position is fixed, which is good. So now, let's see, do we get, we still have to fig figure out why it's not resizing on the Z axis. But our position is fixed, which is good. Uh, we just need to figure out why it's not resizing on the so slab spawn it should be in here I think or is it no it should be over here I think because here is where we go and assign the size of it which is somewhere over here I think so let's see, unenable if last cube, okay, Look, transform dot local scale is equal to new vector three. Uh, I feel like we have to change this a little bit. So let's go and see. Um, may I could be wrong, but 
if we change that because I think that is last cube dot transform the local scale done Z. That's only dealing with the Z axes. So let's try and change that so that it f somehow um, deals with our X axes as well. So for that, let's see what we can do. Let's go and say, let's just copy and paste it and change that to X and see exactly what is going to break if we do that. But let's see what happens. So we'll play the game and I feel like it's not going to work, but let's try it. So that will break it up a little bit. Oh, okay, so it does work. So yeah, you can see our game is working nicely this is exactly what we wanted um and you can see obviously if the hangover is too big then the game just restarts because obviously there's nothing there's no there's no slab left we just need to figure out that bug but let's try to get a hangover on this side and then that side so you can see that's pretty much working nicely all right so let us go and I feel like we'll end this episode over here and then in the next episode we'll go and deal with some of our UI so adding in a score element so you can actually see what your score is and then we might just figure out that why we are getting uh, the two slabs on the one I think it's on the Z axis spawn at the very beginning so because it's I mean it's not a big deal but it should uh, it should be one one spawner then the next one and then back to the first one and back to the second one so on not just two at the beginning then one for the next so we might figure that out but it's not that big of a deal so we might not we'll see how long it takes us to do the ui but the game's getting there finally i haven't actually closed this window down since i started working on it which is probably why we're getting this far but it's fine, it shouldn't take too long to finish the next episode, maybe in like another 10 or 15 minutes. But that's pretty much it for today, so if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. And give this video a like if you liked it, and I will see you in the next video, whenever that is. But enjoy the rest of your day, or your evening, or whatever you're doing, your weekend, and goodbye.